hello guys welcome back to my channel for this video I will be explaining the parts of a circle which to me is an introductory aspect of circle theorem all right so before I even go into the video for circle theorem I want to explain the part of a circle and its importance all right guys so let's get right into it so here is my circle I have the parts labeled already and uh, I'm going to be explaining them in, in, in context. So most persons ask them about a circle. They'll tell you about diameter. They'll tell you about the radius. They'll tell you about the circumference. Okay? So most persons may not be familiar with secant, chord, tangent, and the point of tangency. All right, guys. So let's get right into it. So the first one I'll go through is the radius. And this is the distance from the center to any part of the circle in the inner region. So, there is, can, so the radius for this circle can be right here, can be this side. So that will be the second radius because two radius make one diameter, two radii make one diameter. All right, guys, you could form a, draw a line from this center to this circumference of the circle to give you another radius. So anyway, you draw the line from the center to the circumference of the circle or the outer part of the circle, which is the inner rim of the circle, give you the same radius, guys. It should be the same answer for the radius. So that's basically your distance. And so leaving from radius, we have the word diameter. And the diameter is basically the cord that passes through the center of the circle all right, guys, that's from one end to another end. So the diameter on the circle is your longest cord. I'll let you know some more about cord very soon. But the diameter is your longest cord. And we know that two radii make one diameter. All right, guys? And so let's move on to cord. And so the cord is basically a line segment whose endpoints are on the circle. So a cord, the endpoints of the cord, it will be these two endpoints. And they are on the circle. And so I could also draw a cord from this end to this end. And th that will be my cord because the endpoints are on the circumference of the circle. All right, guys. And uh, next where we go would be secant. And the secant is a line that intersects the circle at two points. So the secant is not a, is not a cord. It's a line extended outside of the circle. And, but it goes through the circle. That's very important to know as well. So in the, the circle are two points. That means it has to go through it for it to intersect it. Unlike a card that ends on the circumference, a secant goes through the circle. So you have two points of intersection. It will be this point and this point. And so secants are not commonly used, but it's important to know about secant. And so we move on to tangent. And this is a line that intersects the circle exactly at one point. So this tangent is a line that intersects the circle. And so the tangent doesn't normally go through the circle. It goes at the side of, I would say it touches the circumference of the circle. So the C can go through the tangent line, touches one part of the circle. All right, guys? And so where it touches up under the circle is known as the point of tangency. All right, so this point is known as the point of tangency. If I should draw a radius from the center to the point of tangency, draw a radius from the center to the point of tangency, right here, I will be forming a 90 degree from the center to the point of tangency. So that means that this side will be 90 degree and this side will also be 90 degree and we know the angles on a straight line equal 180 degrees all right guys and so it's very important to know the part of a circle and how could i forget the circumference so the circumference is a distance around your circle so all of this region here is known as your circumference all right, guys, the distance around your circle is known as the circumference. This is the outer part of your circle. And some people call circumference the perimeter 
of the circle as well. So if you see perimeter of the circle or the circumference of the circle, it's basically talking about the region around the circle. All right, guys, so I'm happy that you, you joined me in, in explaining this part of the circle. I think that this is a very important thing to know because there are different parts and they have different formulas you do to find whatever region you're trying to find. And if I should go further, guys, before I even go, if we should think about um, segment and sector. So sector is basically a fraction of the circle. So you have minor segment and you have the major now let me go sector first. You have minor sector and the middle sector. So if I should take, for example, let me call this point O. Let me call upon the tangency A and this point B. All right, guys. So my center is O. A, B are the two points on the circumference. So, guys, if I should think about the sector, this region here, I'm going to be using a light shading now. This region here would be a sector. All right, guys. So this will be like the minor sector. So if I should go here, I'll say minor sector. And once you have a minor sector, you're going to have a major sector as well. And so the outer part, that is this region. Let me see if I can shade around that part. That is basically this region around here is known as your major sector. And so if you have an angle here, let's say this angle looks like a 60 degree. Let's say this angle is approximately 60 degrees, guys. So if this angle here is 60 degrees... Just say it is 60 for now. That's 60. To find the angle for the major sector, we will say 360 subtract 60, which will give us 300. How do I know 360? Because angles at a point, or it makes a complete revolution, is equal to 360 degrees. And so if in here represents 60 degrees, the outer part, which will be the major sector, would be 300 degrees. All right, guys, and we also have segments. And segments are normally separated by a card, and so we could say this will be your minor segment. That's this region here. This could be your major, minor segment, and the rest of the circle would be your major segment. Or we think about the diameter. We could say this is a segment up here, and below the diameter will be also a segment. And so, guys, these are very important things to know about a circle before going into circle theorem, and before going into finding different uh, angles or lengths of a particular shape or figure that may be in a circle. All right, guys? And as I said to you about the diameter, the radius, so from this O to A would also be a radius. O to B would be your second, another radius. And so, guys, thank you very much for watching and joining me. I would like you to like, share, and comment on this video. And give me a feedback, guys. Let me know what you think and how you think I can improve. Because, you know, it's always good to be learning and improving on what you do. All right, guys. So I really appreciate you watching. Goodbye for now.